Hello friends subscribe to our channel GDC and press the bell icon for more updates. Hello friends welcome back again to the GDC YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss the Lucas test. What is the use of Lucas test? What are the procedure in the Lucas test? And what are the reagent used in the Lucas test? So basically Lucas test is the test which identify or differentiate primary, secondary and tertiary aliphatic alcohols. So we can say by this test we can easily find out that whether our alcohol is aliphatic alcohol is primary alcohols or secondary alcohol or tertiary alcohol. So let's start. It is used to distinguish between primary, secondary and tertiary aliphatic alcohols. Here we can easily find out that primary, secondary and tertiary alcohol structure. Here all the hydroxyl group attached at a different carbon positions so that by which we can easily identify that this is primary, this is secondary aliphatic alcohol, this is tertiary aliphatic alcohol. And what is the reagent used in the Lucas test? So in the Lucas test, Lucas reagent used that is the anhydrous zinc chloride in concentrated hydrochloric acid means anhydrous zinc chloride when additively add with the concentrated hydrochloric acid this reagent combinedly known as the Lucas reagent now why what happened in this test basically in this test this test is based on the difference in reactivity of three classes of alcohol with hydrogen halide via SN1 reactions means suppose this is our <coughs> alcohol aliphatic alcohol when this aliphatic alcohol react with this hydrochloric acid then this reactions either take place or not depend on the aliphatic alcohol and what happens at what times it appears turbid turbidity and cloudiness that will also depend on the aliphatic alcohol nature so by this reactions we can say that this reaction is based on the reactions of the aliphatic alcohol to the hydrogen halide and this reactions take place by the SN1 reaction. Now what is the role of zinc chloride? Zinc chloride here act as a catalyst in this reactions and zinc chloride attack on the oxygen of alcohol to weaken the CO bond means zinc chloride we, we can make weak the carbon and oxygen bond of the alcohol. This leads to the completions of the reactions. If tertiary alcohol is there that will give the immediate reactions secondary alcohol takes six to seven minutes but in primary alcohols it will take more and more times so on the basis of time we can say that this is the primary alcohol or secondary or tertiary alcohols so let's start one by one firstly we will talk about the primary alcohols what happen in the primary alcohols suppose this is our primary alcohols when this primary alcohol react with the concentrated high hydrochloric acid in the presence of anhydrous zinc chloride then this reactions will take more and more time and mainly very less chances to happen this reactions so no reactions and hence no white cloudiness or turbidity at room temperature so we can easily find out that primary alcohols do not give this type of reactions and no turbidity but if you talk about the secondary alcohols in the secondary alcohols this is our secondary alcohol when this secondary alcohol react with the concentrated hydrochloric acid in the presence of anhydrous zinc chloride then this reactions take place at five to six minutes but cloudiness and turbidity upper appears that means secondary alcohol react in the Lucas test now if you talk about the tertiary alcohols tertiary alcohols this is tertiary alcohol when this tertiary alcohol react with the concentrated hydrochloric acid in the presence of anhydrous zinc chloride then immediate reactions take place and this immediate reactions form cloudiness and turbidity that will identify the tertiary alcohol i hope so this video you will like it thank you so much